Well, the e-mountain bike world keeps delivering and two very cool new bikes on this week's EMBN show. Do you know what? I always feel a certain uh, angle of trepidation when uh, I'm joined by Martin Ashton on the show. I never know what kind of mood he's in. Professional. Oh. That's what I'm in. Professional <laughs> mood. Oh, crikey. I'm all about helping you out today, Steve, so let's get to it. I've heard a car company's made a bicycle. Well, do you know what? When you're in professional mood, that actually scares me. Mm. <laughs> it should. It should. It yes. Should. Guys, we have... Uh, sorry, I was a little bit of there. Uh, guys, we have uh, a new bike from Audi. Now, this is the, the e-tron. It's got a Bros S Mag motor on there, 90 newton meters, 720 watt hour battery. It's a mid travel bike, 29, 27.5 wheels. But I'm sure Martin Ashton will have something to say about this. Nah, <laughs> I have, Steve. I have. I have. <laughs> it it right. kind of looks like a Fantic. <laughs> well, yeah. Now, back in 2000, and I'd say 12, 2012 time, Audi famously released the first e-bike mountain bike. And it right? was pretty futuristic. It wasn't was it? futuristic. It could do 50 miles an hour. It was incredible. It was the future, right? Turns out the future <laughs> of Audi mountain biking isn't that piece of crap they made back then. It's a Fantic. From now, exactly you can buy from Fantic without but, a silly car name written on it. But Fantic is a great e-mountain bike, nevertheless. Yes, yes, it is. It doesn't have an Audi it motor, is. it and, has a Brose motor. And doesn't it just show that, that Audi couldn't make an e-bike, <laughs> as we thought, because they make cars, and we had to get Fantic to oh, do it. Thank I, God for Fantic. I love it when Martin's in a professional mood. You can't have beat it. The price on this bike is 9,499, oh sorry, 8,499 pounds. It's got Olin suspension in it, front and rear. It's got the RXF 38 up front, and of course the, the mighty TTX on the back. What I want to know, Steve, is do you pay more for having the Audi badge or less? <laughs> <laughs> Today is the day where the full breadth of our mountain bike coverage across the GMBN channels is officially announced. And the exciting news is that we'll be bringing you the action from the UCI Mountain Bike World Series, the new home of the UCI Mountain Bike World Cup. This includes cross-country Olympic, cross-country short track, and cross-country marathon, downhill, enduro, and e-enduro. We'll be trackside to bring you the insight into all of the action from the racing, as well as track walks, bike checks, interviews, pit walks, highlights, and more throughout the season. We'll also be showing the elite semi-finals from downhill, as well as the junior races and under 23s cross-country, alongside short highlights of all the disciplines, all brought to you by our good selves right here on GMBN Racing. And if you want the full premium package, including worldwide access to absolutely all events we've already mentioned, plus the full length live UCI World Series Elite Finals, which is an absolute must see, then head over to GCM Plus, link below to find out more and subscribe. GCM Plus is our live and on-demand racing and documentary subscription service, which lets you take the action with you, pause, rewind, and pick up where you left off on mobile, web, and connected devices, including Apple TV, Samsung, and Fire TV. And even when the racing's over, you've also got access to over 160 exclusive cycling documentaries covering adventure, challenge, tech, and legends of the sport. If you're interested, check out the one about the Athertons for starters. It's available to watch right now. Uh, in other news, uh, Marin. Now, Marin are known for uh, some great value e-mounted bikes. They come in three models, the Alpine Trail E, the Alpine Trail E1, and the Trail E2. Uh, 630 watt hour batteries in there. Uh, obviously, the Shimano uh, EP8 motor, 85 newton meters. The uh, price is uh, for the entry level bike, 4,499. Does that say dollars, Mart? Of course, Marin um, is, Marin is it does. an American brand. Well, no, 4,795 pounds, 5,599 dollars. Sorry, 160 yeah. mil front, 150 rear. Uh, Exfusion suspension on that entry level bike, you know, raised into uh, RockShox Super Deluxe coil on the, on the Trail E1. We've got Performance Elite 
fork and the trailie too. It's not just about tech detail, it's about the looks no, as it's well, It's got to look it? good, isn't it? Um, and hardtail, Steve, uh, what, where are you on hardtail e-bikes? Because <laughs> there's a lot to be said. There's a lot to be said for having a full sus e-bike for obvious reasons. It's got that added weight. I mean, some argue the suspension works even better on a slightly heavier, centrally weighted bike. Uh, lots of testing gone in the normal downhills. But have you ever seen Jack Carvey riding his hardtail orange? He puts that weapon to... Hold on. Uh, e by Cardtail. Yes, yes. I have not. Well, it is fantastic. I mean, this this actually sounds. Is there anything on his Instagram? On a hardtail e-bike? Yes, hardtail orange e-bike. He absolutely loves it. I talked to him about it a little bit, and uh, maybe we can get him on one day to tell you all about it because it does look cool. I mean, what what that guy does on a bike is pretty mind blowing. Um, actually, on the subject of trials riders, on last week's show, we actually showed. Tony Bow and his mm. on his specialized Levo. Yes. Absolutely. I mean, I I, I reckon he would put uh, sorry, uh, Jack Carthy and Chris Ackrig to task. No, he wouldn't. He's rubbish on them trials. On, on He's not bike. bad, Mark. He's no. not bad. You're joking. He's not bad. You're joking, are you? I'm not joking. Are you, jo are you being serious? <laughs> I am being serious. You think Tony Bow could could bother Jack Carthy and I... push bike trials? Ooh. That's like saying Jack <laughs> Carthy could bother Tony Bow at motorcycle trials. What's under that hat, man? <laughs> clearly, got tin clearly foil under that hat. <laughs> right, look, uh, let's move on to some products. We've got Scottish company pinned with some um, new e-bike cranks for Bosch bikes. Uh, they are made in Scotland from 7075 T651 alloys aluminium. The cranks are available in 145, 155 and 165 length. They look good. They I look don't good. actually think I've come across a 145 crank before, but I do think that crank length is a... Is that under, what's the word, under researched yes. part of e mountain bikes? Because I think what it does is when you've got a technical climb, it actually gives you a bit more time on the crank. Whereas mm. when you're cranking through a long 175 crank, you can, once you've made that commitment, you're pushing through, it's going to increase leverage. I think it's a bit like. Bit like having a lower gear on a trials bike. Yeah. It definitely is because I am, um, and obviously it really does change the gearing in a sense yeah. in itself. I played with uh, crank lengths quite a lot back in the day. Yeah. Um, and I ended up on a shorter crank, did obviously you? being a trials rider. So yeah, there's a lot to be said for what that. What did you, what do you recall? What you I were went on? down to 165 at one right. point, um, but there was 175s. Um, I did also do it because the more different crank lengths I got, the more 900 Coda cranks they sent me, which were like jewellery. <laughs> so there was a little bit of that going on too. They were cool as Coda cranks. <laughs> really cool, they? yeah. Really cool. So, In I mean, any length. I mean, cranks can be cool. They can be cool. These look nice. They I do. think they look really, really cool. Anyway, we're getting distracted here. The final part of news, bike news that is, is the Transalp, the 14 kilo Transalp. Now this comes in, this is from uh, the Swiss manufacturers, Transalp. They, they've partnered up with Maxon, the Max Drive uh, Bike Drive Air System, which weighs only 3.5 kilos for the whole system. Now it's not just the motor. That's incredible. But 14 kilos for a bike. Now I'm thinking that most sort of trail to enduro bikes like I rode a, a Trek Fuel yesterday, which was the high end model was 13 kilos. So 14 kilos for an E-Man bike, it's pretty up, pretty up there, isn't it? It is, it is. It's I very need to impressive. Put my, I need to put my glasses on. I'm looking at some of the geometry numbers on here. Uh, 475 reach uh, in medium, 505 in the size large, which is great for tall riders. Um, 130 rear, 140 up front, 77 degrees seat to bangle, 65 head to bangle. Looks like the geometry numbers are bang on, Matt. Price. price. Guess the price, Steve. Go on, guess well, it. I can Don't see look. now. I've got ah, my glasses on. 7,450 pounds. That's about that's good money. That's about that's just over twice the price of a new SRAM cranks a drivetrain system. Did you know there was a new SRAM drivetrain? Did, did you see, know? Steve? I did see pictures. I, I, saw, I saw something on every single mountain biking <laughs> Instagram ever yesterday. I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's uh, a new a new a new derailleur on cassette, right? Turns out the solution to the derailleur was a more expensive derailleur. Fantastic, SRAM. Brilliant. <laughs> Don't put the laughing in there. It's, fun, it's funny. It's funny you should say that. Is that there was there was 
Another story going on yesterday, which, uh, or it's actually going on, I think the stories are going to be on behind the scenes because a company called Classified, mm -hmm. now GCN have run, 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 run this on their channel, it's a, a two-speed rear hub. It's yeah. a two-speed rear hub, which actually changes the ratio of your, of your cassettes. You can on an e-bike, like we talked about this on last week's show, you can on an e-bike have, you know, say an eight-speed cassette with a chunkier chain, because mm -hmm. you don't need all those gears on an e-bike. No. So, uh, but that, like the £700 for, for, for something, which is, I think it's going to transform the ride of your bike. Mm. I like the sound of the, it uh, is like cool. the, that two gear shift. That it's does cool. sound good. Right, let's have a look at some cool places, Steve. Where have e-bikes been going? Um, can I start? Because I like, this, I like the look of this ship. The That's a photo. Look at that. The Uneden line. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Albany, Western Australia, this is. Luke, out on his specialised Turbo Levo. Um, this is the oldest settlement town in Western Australia. Wow. Um, it's pretty cool. The, ship, the ship's really doing a lot for this photo, isn't it? I don't think, it I've, ever, I don't think I've ever seen such a photograph in the cool places. I mean... I mean, as much as I love e-bikes, I want to be lying on the deck of the ship. Yeah, I'm wondering, sun. looking at the way that ship's propelled, has that been photoshopped in there? Is that actually <laughs> going past in the background? Or has, has Luke just done a fast on this? Of course it is, of course it is. Well, Western Australia obviously looks beautiful. Yeah. Um, uh, another cool place. Anyway, yes, conti uh, continuing the historic theme, we've got a picture here from Alex, uh, out, from, out from this friend riding the Brecon Beacons in Wales, and this is on the Roman road called San Helen which uh, actually is a 160 mile route, which stre stretches through uh, north to west Wales. I've not actually done the complete San Helen, I've done parts of San Helen, but um, the route is actually named after St. Helen of Carnarvon, a Celtic saint that is said to have ordered the construction of roads during the fourth century. Wow, you can be boring sometimes. <laughs> um, I think it is a cool place because it's right by my house. Oh, sometimes. Yeah, most of the time, you're right. <laughs> okay, um, let's get, it's all about accuracy and accuracy. Accuracy. Um, accuracy. I said it'd be professional, I'm yeah, sorry, yeah, Steve. Yeah. Come on. Um, well, I, I quite like this uh, route. And San Helen, is that a route, do you think I could ride that, you know, on my handbook? Because I'm looking oh. for a big ride. Oh, bloody hell. Could I do now, it? Now then. Yeah. I think you might have stumbled across something here. Yeah. I need a route for my well, handbike e -bike. Look, I, I need to think about this. I know that there's a lot of the route you could do, and some of it, it, some of it will be challenging, especially around sort of Riola up on the top there. But nevertheless, mm. an incredible route. Mm. That's not a bad idea, Matt. You know it's what, Steve? I'm glazing over. Should we move on? Uh, some feedback and comments from you guys over the past few weeks. Now we've got a selection of comments from you guys. The first one's from Jay Peterson who asks, I purchased the 2022 Stance E plus one. I'm curious whether the 2023 high capacity battery will fit into the 2022 bike. Ooh. <sighs> I don't know the answer, but what I do know, and this is very cool, uh, Jay Peterson, is that because they've just launched the, uh, the new Giant Trance Elite, what I'm told is that you can actually use the app to custom set your old giant sync drive motors, which I think people will be very keen to hear. Because a lot of the time, brands bring out these new products, they're not backwards compatible, blah, blah, blah. Mm. Whereas I think Giant did, done a great job with the new, with the new Trans Elite. So you can, you can, if you've got an older motor, you can, you can have the same upgrades on the older motor. So it's not a complete answer, it's a part answer, but um, Jay Peterson, I'll find out the, the answer to that battery conundrum and then uh, can I ask you this one Steve you can um, but quickly I just want to wonder I'm just going to wonder is Jay Peterson Jordan Peterson do you think that is have you written Jordan Peterson's um, what's called rules for life 12 rules for life have you read, have you read yeah, that yeah man love it have you I've read, I've read 12 heavy. more rules <laughs> <laughs> yeah I can't see you listening to any of those rules and max of meaning Oh, I up. love Jordan Peterson I'm not, it's right. fantastic anyway I, I digress you here's do. a question for you Steve King Prickard Prickard. Moving on. King Prickard says, what non-e-bike hobbies do you guys have? Drinking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's not that a hobby. That's not drinking. a hobby. <laughs> it's so Welsh that was when you said that. Drinking. No, I actually, I actually enjoy going to watch rugby because I find it's a great diversion. Uh, and motorcycle trials is what I do. What about yourself? I do love, well, I don't 
ride motorcycle trials, but I do love motorcycle trials, like watching a bit of Supercross, and um, Jordan Peterson, as it goes. That is the I kind mean, of stuff I mean, I'm into. I mean, to, I, I, to be honest, granted, if you're reading Jordan Peterson, it would take a lot of your time. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, well, let's ask a proper e-bike question. I'm going to challenge you this time. Um, from This is from the video how low you can go EMTB pressure guide vid. Yes, um, with the Pirelli Two tires. viewers, I'm Krukey and Paul Barron asked what pump you were using in that video. I do, and you know, I'm very happy I bought this pump and I did buy the pump. It's actually a uh, Topeak pump where you can actually, ch you can pump the air in your forks mm. and you can also transform it and you can put air in your tires. I can't remember which one's high pressure and low pressure, but look, there's a, there's a thingy on it you know, I'm, not, I'm not doddy. You know, I'm, I, I, you know, I hold my hands up. I'm not tech. tech None dog. of us are, Steve. None of us are doddy. <laughs> he's exactly. He's another level. He is another level. But what I will say is, it's easy to use. You can chuck it in your bag, and you can set up your bike in a in a, in a flash. So it's it's great. There you go, Topi. Okay, here's something a little bit new, Steve, right? A weekly question, okay? Right. So we're gonna ask the question now, and then you guys, in the comments down below, give us your answers, and if there's some good ones, we will come back to them next week. Uh, and maybe it will help us uh, improve the EMBN weekly culture show. Yeah. And, uh, and topics. So, quite simply, the first question is, uh, hashtag, what would you like to see on the show? Crikey, all right. On the channel, in fact. So, so ne on next week's show, then, we'll be answering that question. We'll be looking at the answers you guys have given us. Okay, fantastic. That's a great idea, Martin. Yeah. Great idea. It wasn't my idea. I mean, I just read it off the script. I don't want to take all the credit. Fine, I'll take the credit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Did I hear that you actually broke your uh, laptop last week on the GMBN show because you threw the cup at it? Is that correct? Let's go to the bike vault. Yes, we can get into the bike vault. Do you know what? You're not in a funny mood this week, yeah. You're not in a funny mood. <laughs> not, no, but it's very... You've made me come into the show. What you guys don't know is, I haven't even set foot in the place yet. Um, not that I technically this, ever do, this, but I'm I'm in the building. I've just come in, Steve. So let's go and do the show. I haven't even this, had a coffee, Steve. This could... I'm parched now, honestly. But um, anyway, look, this is the bike fall. This is where the mood could change. It might. Chuck us a bell, Louis. Let's have a oh, bell in don't here. Know, I'm yeah, a bell. let's no. decide. Let's, put, let's be judgmental. Oh. Come on. Why not? Oh, no, no. The bike Slightly vault. Unkind. Right, the bike vault. Yes, the bike vault. Kicking the bike vault. We have the snow shot from Carl here with his track rail seven on what he said it was a cheeky snow ride in Sutton Park, Gormier, North Yorkshire. Colours really pop with that snow. Don't I they? do like that turquoise. Mm. Mm. It, aren't they just nicking the Yeti colour though? So is this really sort of like a trek trying to be a Yeti? Mm. Put you there, aren't I? Great. I like how you've got that thing over there lurking. Well, I mean, lurking. I like to give a nice or a super nice. Do you technically give out super nices well, and nice? We, what we did a few weeks ago, we said every bike was a super nice. And I thought, mine's going to hate this. Well, no, because every bike's nice. But some of them are that little bit more, aren't they? Ah, I Unfortunately, see. this track isn't one of them. Okay. So next up, Is we have Jan's got... Jan's Rad on Render. Let's have a look. Jan's Rad on Render. This shot uh, comes from us. But it's a mythic-looking forest in... Byers born Germany. Jan was checking out some trails near their hometown. I think I like I like that bike. It's a lovely photo. It's a lovely It photo. is, isn't it? Mm, yeah, I love good. the ang the, the mm. 45 degree there. Yeah, yeah, it's very nice. Uh well, I love it. I love you it. Love I mean, it. and what do you think of that bike? What do you think about the bike? The rad on bang on, yeah. 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 You know, I'm starting to think about that San Helen route for you now. It's gonna be that'll be good that one. Stay focused, Steve. Stay uh, focused. Right, no, next up. So oh, that was nice, that's super nice. That was nice, is it? The, the previous I, I'm shot. reluctant to give out any nices and super nices, really. Reluctant? Yeah, yeah, I'm reluctant to. I think, because right. I, I didn't give out a super nice at the start, I'm probably going to save the super nice. So, for I know, week. so you gave, you gave the old Audi a kicking earlier. You're going to give the mm. Ducati, which is next, a kicking as well. This is uh, Alan's Ducati. It's actually a Toc. Toc is from Italy. Mm. You know, I, I, love quite, toc. I quite like it. I just, I just loathe... I love like loaf. companies, not loathe, loathe's a bit too strong. It's a bit strong, I that. don't like car companies and motorcycle companies putting their names on other other brands when they could just, like, a car company should just f*** off, right? Don't make e bikes <laughs> make cars. Do you it, like Ford? Motorcycle companies, you've got a good argument, but you could probably you like add some tech to this industry, so make your own one, just not put your name on someone else's. Do you like Ford putting their badge on your car? 
Um, I, I, I do because it means I basically get a VW <laughs> Caddy cheaper. <laughs> now look, it's, yeah. what about the talk? What about the talk? I it's, like it. it. I tell you what, it's got Ducati written on it, so I'm not going to say it's horrible. Okay, I right. mean, it's Ducati, isn't it? All right. Yeah. It's that. And then this one is from Graham. He took the shot of this pre-production Brazen. Now we had the Brazen. It's a high pivot bike a isn't few it? weeks ago, but this is a different shot. Uh, yeah, it's um, shameless. Shameless, isn't it? Is the word <laughs> shameless? <laughs> I like the look of it. I think it's. I think it's a bit different. I'm glad to see two of them on here. Yeah, but um, you said you like high bikes. I mean, this is... <laughs> oh, that rear crikey. triangle. This rear triangle is really horrid. Okay, it's horrid. So, so, so what, you're bas what you're basically saying, Martin, is that this week's bike vault has not got a super nice in, in it. That's what you're basically saying. And it's the first I, time. I, I, I didn't think pick it's actually them. the first time. I didn't pick them. First time. Right, well, the bike vault actually, actually is not at the end of this week's EMBN show. We've got more. We've got more. I feel really bad, Steve, because I liked all of them, really. <laughs> I liked all of them. We've I got actually didn't more. even mind that last one. This is a new part of the show where we're getting social. We'll be keeping a look. Is that a... Is that a Bosch drill or is that a Makita? I think that was Works. It's a Works drill? Yeah, that was Works drill. Okay, right. Anyhow, this is a part of the show where we were on the lookout for any social media to see what people are getting up to on their EMTBs. Now, I mentioned Tony Bow earlier. You mentioned... Bike! Anyway, Sam Pilgrim uh, is looking quite comfortable on his new Canyon, Martin. Sam Pilgrim is looking good on the Canyon, you're right. Yes, he, he is. He is. He is looking and very good. as much as you want to give High Bike some <laughs> this is Rob Williams, who's just signed for High Bike. Oh, no, but they've got a nice bike now. And They've he'll, got a nice bike now. He'll be racing the EDRE. Now, if you want to yeah. see racing, don't forget we've got a new racing channel, mm. GMBN Racing. Martin will be fronting it, for sure. No, I won't. Would you? No, it's going to be really good. No, I won't be on it. <laughs> Um, okay. Uh, and right. finally, uh, Mart, we've got Marek Turkowitz. Now we saw this on the Crank Brothers Instagram. Uh, now Marek's got paralyzed arm and amputated leg as well. He's in his giant Trance Advanced E Plus. That's a nice looking trail he's on, isn't it? Yeah, that's pretty impressive, isn't it? That's pretty impressive. And uh, how he's got that kind of bike control, I don't really know. I don't yeah. really understand how you could balance the bike so well, one armed, one legged. So uh, that's it for this week's show. Uh, coming up on the channel this week, we have got, uh, I think I think it's an interesting subject, which is what mountain bike should you choose? So basically the basic decisions people have got to do today, Louis heard this a few times now in the last few days. Uh, you've got mountain bikes, you've got light to low assist e-mountain bikes and you go full power e-mountain bikes. Yeah. How do people make those decisions? It's not easy. It's tough, isn't it? Mm. Is it is it like is it like having a 125, a 280 or a 300 motorcycle? Or like a 125, 250, 500? Is it the same? It's not really, is it? Because that's kind of... That's There's some the, comparisons there. That's, I guess when you've got motorbikes, you're comparing like for like. The thing with mountain bikes, when you've got an analog bike versus two e-bikes, they're kind of a different sport, aren't they? Would you agree or not? They're, they're, I feel like they're converging into one. That's where I'd go with it. But yeah, so it's, it's getting harder to pick because they're all becoming very similar. And that is the subject of a video coming up uh, in the next seven days on EMBN. So stay tuned. Uh, guys, let us know what you think of Martin's comments of the new Audi bike. Hang on a minute. Wait, <laughs> don't, if, if any of you take anything I've ever said as anything other than nonsense, you're as mad as me. There's a lot of mad people out there, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Steve, did you know there's a new uh, derailleur? There is a new derailleur. See you guys next week's show.